Well, hey there, banjo buddies. Uh, your pal Mark here from the Jones House coming at you with another banjo five string lesson. Uh, this time we, I'm in what we call sawmill tuning or modal tuning. So for those of you who are used to playing in G tuning, uh, we're gonna take our normal G tuning and we're gonna tune our second string. Instead of at this note, we're gonna tune it up Tune our second string up one half step to the C. And this gives the banjo a real nice modally mountain minor -y sound to it. Sawmill tuning, modal tuning, minor tuning, lots of different ways that people call this, but. A lot of great sounds you can make and some easy ways to do it. Um, a lot of the places that you'll find the melody are going to be on the um, on the first and the fourth strings which are both tuned to D. Our tuning here is G, D, G, C, D. And we're going to find a lot of melody notes that are going to fall on the third fret or maybe the second fret either open all the strings open or on the first and fourth strings, the second frets and the third frets. On the inside strings, a lot of them are gonna come, come on the on the second frets or open, maybe the third fret of the third string. But a lot of open notes, and you can kind of you can really fool around with this tuning and um, just Get, if you can get your bum ditty going, go back and get that bum ditty lesson, or even an up pick. But with that one, two, and three, four, and bum ditty, bum ditty, get that rhythm going. Shady Grover right in there. this modal tuning and with some of those positions on the fingerboard and you can do it with one finger you don't even need a whole lot and you can make it sound pretty good so enjoy that a little bit of sawmill tuning